Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with GetOnStream.com and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you three tips that you can do to improve your audio quality on stream without investing any money in new equipment. This completely changed the game for me for about six months when I bought this Blue Yeti microphone. I had huge issues with audio. I was like, I've spent all this money on this microphone and it still doesn't sound all that great at all. Honestly, it sounded pretty terrible until I used these three quick settings that I'm going to show you in this video. So let's go ahead, jump in. If this video does help you at all, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new here, and let's go ahead and show you how to improve your audio for completely free with Streamlabs OBS and OBS. Okay guys, so first up, I wanna show you how to change this on Streamlabs and it's super, super easy to do. And I would recommend just copying the settings that I have exactly, and then you can play around with it and change things a little bit if you're having issues with your audio. So what you wanna do is come over here to your input microphone in your mixer. Mine over here is the microphone Yeti Stereo microphone. I'm gonna click on the settings cog right here and then we're gonna select filters. And in these filters, there's a couple of different options. There's actually quite a few options. If you click the plus here, there's a ton of different things that you can do to enhance your audio. But these are the four that we're going to add. There's really three main ones that I normally use, and that is noise gate, noise suppression, and compressor. You can add gain in if your audio is a little quiet. So the first thing you want to add here is a noise gate. Essentially what a noise gate is going to do is adjust the level that your microphone picks up a signal and actually sends it to your computer. So if there's some sort of noise in the back, Backgrounds, maybe you've a clicky keyboard, it's going to take more to actually open that microphone. So you want to set up your close threshold here and your open threshold. I would select these as what I have right here as minus 54 and minus 37. If you feel that, you know, when you're listening back to your audio, do a couple of tests, it's not, you know, picking up your voice, then you need to pull that number back a little bit and have it open a little bit earlier. However, this is a good starting point to test this out, see how you feel. This should keep out, you know, clickety noises in the background and stuff like that. You also want to set the attack time here I would set this to 25 the hold time to 200 and release time to 150 so once you've added that the next thing you want to add here is noise suppression I've got the method here as speaks which is lower CPU usage so I would go ahead I would recommend using that especially if you're on a more budget streaming setup right here for the suppression level we want this to be minus 40 and essentially again what this is going to do is help remove any background noise from your stream minus 40 is a good setting here if you want to go ahead and adjust that if you feel like you're still hearing a lot of background noise you can increase that level if you feel that it's cutting off your voice you can decrease that level a little bit next up is the compressor and essentially what a compressor is going to do is level out all the noise in your stream so obviously there's going to be times in your game where you're getting excited but you don't want to deafen your viewers with your scream so a compressor essentially brings down all of them at kind of high really loud noises and brings it all down to the same similar level so that the viewers have a better viewing experience so i would set these settings that i've got right here and again you can play about with these a little bit but these are really good starting settings especially if you're using the eddie microphone like i am right here so ratio set as 10 threshold as minus 18 attack at 6 release at 60 and output gain at 0 and then last but not least is gain and again you might not need to do this but i have mine set to 1.5 and that just helps to increase the level of my audio a little bit. So all you have to do when you've done that is click done right here. Then filters are going to be applied to your microphone and your audio should sound so much better with those simple little tweaks. Next up, I want to show you how to do this on OBS. Again, what you want to do is come down here to your audio mixer, come to audio input capture or whatever your microphone is here down in the mixer. Again, just hit the cog, exact same thing that we did on Streamlabs OBS. Click filters right here. And on this, I only have the three added, the three main ones that I would recommend adding. And you can see here, my settings are the exact same as I had them over on Streamlabs OBS. So again, we've got the noise gate right here, minus 53, minus 37, 25, 200, 150. And then for noise suppression, set up minus 40 decibels. And then the compressor settings are right here as well. So you can check them out on the screen there. You can pause the video or there is an article down below in the description. You can check out if you just want the screenshots of all of these different settings, or maybe you want to send it to your friends. You can check out that article down below. But hopefully this helps you guys getting better audio on your microphone, on your stream, and just gives your viewers a better streaming experience. If you want to go ahead and check out some of the other videos on the channel, please do hit subscribe if this video helped you out. It helps out the channel here an absolute ton. And go ahead and check out getonstream.com. There's tons of articles over on the website helping you grow your stream. So see you guys in the next video.